Oops, I thrifted again. All right, I have not been to the thrift since December and I just did it again. So it's time for Thrifty Thursday. Let's see what we got at the thrift store right after this. Hi, I'm Amy, part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Depop. And if you are here, you are here for Thrifty Thursday because we have got a little box Ooh, and an Ikea bag to go through. I already unboxed or unbagged. There were five mystery jewelry bags, little tiny ones, $6 each. I've never seen those at my thrift before and you know I had to buy them. And I put them up on Saturday because I could not wait to film them and I wanted to share them and so I did. So if you haven't seen that video and you wanna see what was in the jewelry bags, see whether I got a good deal or not. I told them because they said, oh, those aren't returnable. Everything else is returnable just for credit. But those aren't returnable. I was like, hmm, very well, Shelly. I will let you know in a strongly worded letter if I do not approve of these. So check out the video and see what you think. You can let me know if I need to write that letter or not. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we are talking about what I got to flip online for a profit and uh, see if I need to take any of this back. I usually don't check comps in the store. It's a super small store. And when I'm, well, when I was coming home to take care of mom, I'd be stopping there on the way home from work. And so I'd want to thrift as fast as possible. I could get home look things over with mom because she always liked to see we talk about it it was fun for her then i could take things back and just exchange them the next day if necessary they didn't mind they know and i don't do that too often but i'm so anyway i usually check columns at home and i'm still kind of in that mode like i said this is the first time i've been to the thrift since december so whew, let's see what we got uh i did pick up this one hard good it wasn't half off all of the clothes are half off so certain tags are a dollar, those were 50 cents. And then certain tags, whatever the prices were, were half off. So all clothing on Mondays is half off, hard goods are not. But I could not resist this charming little plaque. And I've had some good luck selling, especially vintage decoupage. This is technically decoupage, not super well done. There is, it's not really shellacked down here. Uh, but this is just a recipe to preserve children and it's so cute. So I'm gonna read it to you, I hope you don't mind. Take one large grassy field, half a dozen children, two or three small dogs, a pinch of brook, and some pebbles. Mix the children and the dogs well together and put them in the field, constantly stirring. Pour the brook over the pebbles, sprinkle the field with flowers, spread over all a deep blue sky, and bake in the hot sun. When brown, set away to cool in a bathtub. And I just love the little art that she drew down here. I don't know if she wrote this herself or cut it out of a magazine or something, but she definitely did attach with glue all of these little flowers. I don't know if she made the flowers or bought them, but it's just super cute. And there is a signature down here, and I think it says Marilyn, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, very 70s, very cute. Where am I gonna put you so you don't get scratched? All right, so I picked that up. And then there's just a random mix of, I didn't spend much time there. And so yeah, I got some stuff. This I grabbed just because of the margarita theme. So it's just a big dogs. It is a 3X. I believe it is a vintage big dogs, but I did just love all of the Pero Colada um, planters pooch dog curry instead of daiquiri so all of the little recipes for drinks it's very hawaiian shirt i love the size i need to wash it <coughs> oh my gosh all the thrifty clothes <coughs> so sorry and it's not quite christmas in july because it's not even you know june yet but there were a cute a few cute christmas sweaters that i had to get so this is a really really cute little reindeer sweater are we wool uh acrylic made in turkey so it's vintage flat iron mills um it does feel itchier than i'm used to acrylic feeling so i'm, I'm just gonna say it's wool like and let people decide but it's super cute i had to grab that and let's see and stuff like this, they never put on the color tag, so it's only half off if it's like half off Monday or everything in the store is half off on Thursday. This is a Vintage Wind Ridge plaid flannel 
shirt. It's super soft. Uh, it says, are we a men's? I think this was in the ladies, but I think it's a men's because it goes left over right. So it vintage plaid flannel. I know we're heading into spring. I know, I know. Okay, I got these because I might want them. Mm. Uh, these are just a Lane Bryant size 20 petite, but they are a really cool black, like motorcycle style jean. They are skinny, again, not super on trend. So there might not be something I pick up for anyone else, but if I don't like them, I will sell them. I don't really have any black jeans right now. I have cute black overalls though. All right. Oh, here we have the Vintage Caché. This is a size four. And Caché, if you don't know, was I guess a mall brand. I never knew it. I didn't, I mean, when did I go to the mall ever? Never. Um, so it just has this cute beaded top. It's a little shimmery black. Just a really classic Caché style. So it was a mall brand, has a bit of a cult following. And I've sold a few things from them for very good prices. So I pick this up. I pick it up usually whenever I see it, as long as it's in decent condition. So I got it. Let's put you there instead. Uh, these, these are the two I'm not sure about. Wait, no, this one I'm not. This one's fine. This is just a vin an Eddie Bauer. I'm not sure you vintage. Maybe vintage. It's just a 2X, but it's a classic Eddie Bauer button down. So button down is when they have the buttons that actually button down, otherwise it's a button up. Um, but it's in really good condition. It was not wrinkled, like almost like it hadn't been worn until it was put in this box and wrinkly. Uh, oops, so I got that, especially because it was the 2X. This I got because it is vintage Field and Stream. It is a 2XL as well. And it's a really cool heavy duty plaid flannel. Love the color. Someone will look very handsome in that. And then this, oh my gosh, you know I had to get this. This is vintage, let's see, it's a large, it is MCC Sport. None of that matters because it's vintage and it is this dad, seriously dad. This is what the greatest golfer looks like. And it's so, I've sold a couple of the vintage golf sweatshirts that are cheesy. Some people mark them down. I found the exact one that I sold for like 30. Someone sold it for eight. I'm like, no, it's vintage. It's so cool. It's so on trend. Anyway, it has the crew collar. This is again in almost pristine condition. I absolutely love it. I might try it on. Not that, when am I going to wear a sweatshirt? I get too hot anyway. You know, hot flashes. Whoo. Not that I'm hot, but you know, hot. Ugh. All right. We got the bag. So it was really a random trip. Like I said, I haven't been to the thrift and I usually know exactly what's on in their inventory and, and how long it's been there and stuff like that. No idea. It's been a while. So this is, I believe, vintage. This is All Style Classic Medium. It is new with tags. Maybe it's not vintage, but it's just cool. And it just has all, it's such a pretty color. And then it has all these flowers and it's from... Um, uncultivated by nature and it's wild cotton April 16. Oh, it's not vintage. Okay. I was like, wait a second. No, I just loved the flowers and the bees and the butterflies. So I had to grab that. It's new wild cotton. I don't know if I've heard of that before. I, I, maybe it was a brand. Anyway, it's a cute shirt. I didn't pay much for it. Someone will love it. This is a Margaret Godfrey. And it is a beautiful suede leather, extra large shirt with ruffle detail. Could be a shirt jacket. It is exquisite. Um, it's so cool. So it's gonna button up and have a little bit of a Victorian edge with the ruffle detail on the collar, but it still has the Western collar here. I don't know, people like to over-design. It has the yoke back. It is beautiful, beautiful suede. And I could not resist that. Let me just pull my bag a little closer here. This is silk. I was going to pass this one up because it's a black shirt and black shirts. This is just a J. Crew factory because it has the little diamonds underneath, but it's 100% silk. It is an extra large. It is a beautiful black shirt. So I went ahead and grabbed it. 
kind of looking right now to see if there are any holes or anything I missed because I will take it back if there are any. Um, yeah, but extra large silk can't go wrong, really. Black is harder to sell because it's harder to photograph. These are the two shirts I do need to look up. These are Falcon Able, and I've looked up the brand before and I never remember it because I've been trying not to buy guy stuff. This is designed in France by Albert Goldberg, and I love, love, love this plaid. Again, these are basically not worn, so it's beautiful tan and maroon plaid. So cute. An extra large, I should say, so handsome, not cute. This is a handsome shirt. Uh, it's really a nice shirt. So I have to look up the brand again because I just went ahead and grabbed two of them. Same size, I might lock them together because if someone likes one, they might like that for the winter. And this beauty for the spring and summer because it is red, white, and blue. Again, an extra large, 100% uh, cotton made in Turkey, designed in France. Falcon Able, beautiful, beautiful shirt. Just a great classic dress shirt. Nice and big and oversized. Okay, this I believe is a Boy Scout shirt. Boy Scout ephemera stuff does sell well still. I think that's the clue that it's a Boy Scout thing. I don't know, I know nothing about the Scouts. I was a campfire girl. There we go. And unfortunately, I think they sold Camp Cologne a while ago. So, but that's where mama taught me how to build fires. And we had a bat in the belfry, literally in the bunk. Anyway, it's just a basic shirt. Is that someone who knows scouts? Is that a scout badge or is it something else? Because I don't, that doesn't really look to me like a, like I'm in the army, dude. That doesn't look like an army badge I've ever seen, but I don't know. Stripey's things could be. Let me know if you know anything. Otherwise, I'll be doing some research. Okay, this I had to pick up. Oh, it might be for me. It's a dulled up, extra large, destroyed, bedazzled, studded jean vest. And it's a moto style, zip front, little bit of princess seeming in the back factory distressing, all the things, and it's a great size. I want to try it on myself because, you know, I'm so, I need, let's just not talk about the studs again. We did that in another video. I'm just going to move on. Oh, this is vintage. I love vintage. Let's just go with that. Single needle tailoring made in Korea. It's a <laughs> diamante. If you haven't seen Bridget Jones' diary, I always, whenever I, Diamante, whatever the announcer dude. Anyway, it's an 18 regular, but it's just a big red banded collar shirt. Again, like it's never been worn. I think someone did take these to the dry cleaner maybe before they brought them in and have them a little bit of a, a light starch with them because they feel very nice. Do, do, do. And now they're all wrinkled because they were in the bag, which is why I'm getting them out now. I had to get this, even though it's not the time or place. This is a 2X 18W. Getting ready for next year's uh, cheesy Christmas sweater exchange. Let me know if we should do that again. <coughs> I will start a lot earlier, though, because shipping this year was crazy. And some of you may not have ever gotten your sweaters. I still haven't heard from a few people. Let me know if you got your sweater and your other gifts. Anyway, it was so cute. It's fleece. It's super soft. It may well be mine. I don't know, though. Like, I, I don't need anything, so there you go. Except a cough, because I seriously have the sneezy wheezies. This is just a little denim mini skirt. It is a, it does have shorts attached. It's CJ Banks. It's a 16W. Uh, I sell these fairly well. So, especially, I mean, who doesn't want to wear a cute little mini skirt, but who doesn't want to flash everything? These have the attached shorts, so they're super easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And we have vintage... This is wool, I believe. Yes, wool acrylic made in Hong Kong. Par 4 sportswear. Just a really cute Argyle sweater vest. You know I couldn't pass that up. I couldn't. This I also could not pass up. Speaking about, this is vintage Liz Claiborne. Uh, it is just an extra large green, kind of a waffle knit cardigan. And this one I'm definitely trying on. I think... I don't need, I actually have a green sweater, but that's really cute. So I probably will sell it, but anyway, again with these sweaters, I know, I know, 
Now is the time to buy sweaters when everyone's trying to get rid of them. This is a Land's End Drifter. It's a large, it is a vintage Land's End though. It does have some cable knit on the front. I love the color and I loved the oversized like, patterned cable knit. Super cute. <coughs> Awkward. Oh, wait. Okay, no, there it is. I thought something I bought is not there. It's there. It was just under something else. What is this? Oh, yeah, I bought this. This is so pretty. This is a Liz Claiborne as well. It's a large. It is this houndstooth shawl collar. It has a drawstring waist with the ribbon jacket. So it's a suit jacket, but it's not, it's just really cool. I wish you could see it in person. I was wishing it would fit me. I don't think it will, especially not after the COVID. But you know, there we go. This I got because these are great classic travel pieces. It's that really super stretchy um, stuff. I've sold a number of these. This one says it's a medium US wear. It is vintage, but this thing is a very large medium. So it's just a swing jacket. Great for throwing into a bag when you travel. Often worn with pants that match if you are, you know, of a certain age. Like my age? What? All right. Interestingly enough, we're ending with a sweater. This is a sweater dress. It's vintage. It's style, New York, hand knit. And it is this cool, just a really, really cool blue. Hold on. The shoulder pads are good. It has a little cal, not cal neck, mock neck. It has all the little pom pom details. And then it comes down. And of course, it ends with fringe. When you got pom poms and fringe involved, you know I cannot say no. Besides the jewelry bag, I did purchase two other sets of earrings for myself. Sorry about the crinkling. One pair was half off, the other didn't have any, unfortunately did not have any uh, discount. So this is just a really cool pair of zebra earrings. Those are stone, I believe, or ceramic, probably ceramic. And then these I could not say no to. They are just little vintage, like probably cost more when I bought them than they did there, but they're the little hot air balloons. And I love it when we see hot air balloons out over the fields out here. It happens occasionally and you're like, why are there hot air balloons? I love them. I want to be there. But you're driving on the ground and you have to keep your eyes on the road. So I got some. I can wear them after I clean them and sterilize them. Mm. All right. So besides my jewelry, that's what I got. A lot of sweaters, a few things for spring and a few things to add to my, I will list these later when I get there kind of pile. If you know what I mean. I hope everything's going well with you. Let me know what your favorite find was and if you would have picked up these earrings for you. I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for them because it was more than one of the jewelry grab bags. Go watch that video if you want to see where I got the better deal. <coughs> Let me know what you think down in the comments. I hope everything is going well with you. It has been quite the past month here. We are just kind of moving forward and figuring things out as we go. On that note, I will see you all later, alligators, and I really appreciate you being here and spending some time with me. Bye!